Although photography is a relatively new creative art, the preservation of early photographs is becoming increasingly urgent as digital imaging replaces the chemical photographic processes. So, shall we, shall we rotate it to see how yes, let's turn this around and the check back. the back. Over a decade before the public announcement of daguerreotype photography in 1839, the image acknowledged as the world's first photograph is this image by French inventor Joseph Nicephore Niepce. If you would think about the first photograph, uh, it is really interesting to imagine that the whole history of development of photography, the whole the history of development of film and television as well, projected back goes to one point, and that is the point in 1826 when Joseph Nisifor Niepce made this image we are working on today. If you listen really carefully, yeah. The first photograph is now part of the Harry Ransom Center in Texas. As part of a major collaborative research project, the image was brought to the Getty Conservation Institute, where it was studied to determine its exact composition. Collected from inside. Great. There's such a great need for research in the area of photograph conservation, in large part because photography is such a young field of, of craft, art, and technology, particularly when you compare it with paintings or sculpture, which have had thousands of years of history. Until now, no one had scientifically analyzed the first photograph to determine how it was made. Scientists had only speculated on the materials and processes Nieps used to create the image. So we are getting really good spectrum here, and as you can see, we have a large amount of uh, tin. Mm -hmm. But besides the tin, we can see some other elements. As here, you can see copper, we can see lead, nickel, and iron. We did a very good investigation of the plate of the first photograph using a digital uh, microscopy and microphotography. And that was very revealing because we are not dealing with a continuous uh, thin layer of the bitumen. Uh, we are dealing with small droplets or particles of bitumen, but the bitumen layer is not continuous. It's made of particles which are denser. Density of the particles is higher in the area of the light and uh, much less in the area of shadows. With the information produced by this research into how the first photograph was created, conservators and curators will be better able to preserve it into the future. The Getty Conservation Institute and its partners will continue to use state-of-the-art scientific tools to increase our understanding of the many different processes used by photographers. The knowledge gained will help us safeguard the vast and valuable photographic collections of the 19th and 20th centuries that have so much to tell us about our past. <laughs>